Welcome to episode 4. Today I'm going to show you how to wirelessly access the Raspberry Pi from a computer. This can come in useful for various reasons. Maybe you don't want to have to type in front of your massive TV, or maybe you have broken your USB keyboard like I have. In this tutorial there will be a bit of code, so if you can't hear me clearly in the video, check the description. Right, so first what you want to do is insert a prepared SD card into the Pi, and make sure it's connected to the same internet connection as your computer. Now you want to find your IP address. IP address is a unique code which basically identifies the Raspberry Pi's position in your home network. It's essential for connecting the device wirelessly. The way I found my Raspberry Pi's IP is by using my router settings. Other ways you can do it is by using Angry IP Scanner which is a program for Windows. Or you can hook your Pi up to a screen, log in and then type in sudo IP ADDR. The number will look like look something like 192.168. something. Here's the bit you can optionally skip. If you have a screen and a keyboard, then you may skip this bit. Unfortunately, my USB keyboard broke, so the only way I can access the Pi at this stage is by using a small program for Windows called Putty. So I open Putty, enter my IP address, and then log in. By the way, login credentials are usually found in your distribution's website. If you use Raspberryan, then your username is Pi and your password is Raspberry. With Putty, you can only access Terminal, not the graphical user interface. The step I am about to explain can be done directly on the Pi or on the Putty. After logging in, type in, the t type in Terminal sudo apt get install type vnc server. This process will take a while. After install has finished, type in type vnc server. Now you are in configuration. When it asks you for a password, make one up. It will ask you if you want to make a view only password. Type N for no. Now type VNC server 1 geometry 800 times 600 death 24. So what you're doing is letting your computer access the Raspberry Pi in a window size of 800 by 600 with a color depth of 24. Now you should be able to access the Pi through VNC. The final step is to install a VNC client for your computer. I'm going to use Real VNC Viewer for Windows. Simply enter the Pi's IP address and the password you entered before and there you go. Something I'm probably going to consider in the future is configuring port forwarding on my router. Then I can access the Raspberry Pi from any computer with internet in the world. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, then please do press the green hands up and subscribe button below the video for more fun.